I think it's a very interesting and yes, very challenging questions because it's very complex. And okay, it's not only technical, not only regulatory, not only societal, not only environmental. It mixes all this together and it's very difficult to strike the right balance between all these challenges. At first sight, okay, shell gas may appear as one way to contribute to the targets of the European Commission regarding uh, energy. So I give here <coughs> some extract from DG Energy's targets, okay. Uh, affordable energy, sustainable energy production, okay, shell gas, gas is less carbon intensive that co than coal, so maybe it can be part of the solution. And uh, yes, the condition for secure energy supply, okay, yes, having shell gas in Western Europe, maybe it's more secure than importing shell gas from Russia on, or U Ukraine, so okay, maybe shell gas is part of the answer. But it's not, that, it's not as simple as that. We have some feedback for a few years now from the American, from the US experience. And okay, there are, you can see, we all, all can see the press in the media, good points, bad points. The first apparently good point is that thanks to shell gas, at least partly, uh, <laughs> the US are becoming uh, more and more independent as far as uh, fossil fuel imports are, are considered. And for instance, in June um, 2014, uh, the crude oil exports of the US were the, the highest since 1957, which is quite, uh, quite an <coughs> accomplishment and which is very good for the US security of supply. But Okay, and the other one, many voices, many NGOs, many citizens are keep saying that, okay, there, there are very, very important problems, very important environmental issues regarding shell gas. So here there is a quotation from Greenpeace. There could be many others. We all know, I think, the f film and the movie Gas Long. So, okay, it's difficult to, to see what is right, what is wrong. If I come back, one year ago, there was a public consultation in, in Europe uh, to prepare the impact assessment of the environmental climate and energy assessment framework. Uh, so nearly 23 people answered this public co uh, consultation, mainly, mainly uh, in the individuals. The biggest number of uh, respondents were from Poland, France, Romania, Spain, and Germany. And there was uh, also 700 uh, organizations that answered to this, um, to this co consultation. So I've got two slides extracted from the analysis of this consultation, just to show to what extent opinions can vary in Europe uh, on this topic. For instance, you have the variety of uh, opinions given the country of residence. So you can see, yes, here you have Poland. So maybe things have changed a little bit uh, during the last two years. But in red, you have the people that don't want shell gas at all in Europe. In uh, green, okay, people that are strongly in favor of shell gas. And in between, it's yes to shell gas under some conditions. So between Poland, uh, and so according to this consultation, more than 90% of Polish people are strongly in favor, in favor or strongly in favor of shell gas. Uh, and here you have, for instance, uh, France, where nearly 90% pe of the public is strongly opposed to shell gas. So very different situation. The opinions vary a lot according to the type of respondents as well. You can see here that uh, academic institutions, or uh, uh, trade associations, or companies are quite strongly in favor of shell gas. Only, yes, uh, nearly more than 75, around 75 of 
of this organization are in favor of uh, shale gas. But at the other extreme, NGOs, you have, uh, yes, more than 75% are strongly opposed to the development of shale gas in Europe. So very, a very contrasting picture. And so it's all the more difficult to give the right answers. Looking for the right balance, many challenges. It involves many stakeholders. It raises many questions. So I listed a few here, media coverage, public acceptance, regulatory principles, security of supplies, impact on competitiveness, seismic risk, impacts of water, uh, methane leakage. OK, so many questions. And I think it's up to us now to discuss and to try to figure out which, has, which are the main ones, which are the mo most difficult ones, and is it possible to find a, a trade-off. Thank you.